Hey, Kentucky, welcome back. Perrin and I are going to play a little game of true or false. I beat him at basketball. I beat him at true or false as well. We've got help today from Kristen Brown. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. What's up first? The Oscar nominations were released today, including 14 for Hollywood darling La La Land, Matt and Perrin. True or false, La La Land should win Best Picture. False. I've seen about five of these pictures. Pictures or movies. It depends on <laughs> what you want to call them. La La Land's fine, but it's like... First of all, Ryan Gosling can't even sing. So why in the world do why is why does is you know he up for this? I would say I'd go Manchester by the Sea. That was my favorite. I liked Hell or High Water as well. But La La Land's gonna win. There's nothing Hollywood likes more than talking about itself. I don't think it was the best movie though. I like La La Land. You saw it? Yes. I feel like you would enjoy it. You're kind of, you're kind of musical. And a little bit. You know, West Side Story. I don't you think it's weird? It. Like, I, I sort of agree with the Saturday Night Live skit. It's a movie about jazz and there are no black people in it. Like, how in the world is that? Like, that's not a real jazz movie pairing, right? Well, I mean, you know, Hollywood always has a Scottish guy playing a god in Egypt. I mean, they always do that <laughs> well, type of stuff. Ben so. Kingsley was Gandhi, so I guess. There you I, go. Still, I would say, what was your favorite movie this year? Uh... I, there's so many of them, I can't think of Go ahead right and now. say it. It was Bad Santa 2, wasn't it? Is okay. that the one you liked? Yeah, don't, don't make me blush. All right, that's hard. what I thought. What's next? <laughs> Tennessee basketball poked fun at the White House's alternative facts with some of their own in the media guide. Matt and Perrin, true or false? UK should do their own alternative facts. I love this. This was great. So, of course, you know, Kellyanne Conway said that Trump's folks have alternative facts. So, Tennessee just put fake facts in their media guide about Tennessee basketball. They need to do it in part because Tennessee's basketball's history is not that great. They said this, Kyle Alexander had never heard of the sport of basketball until his senior year of high school when he watched Teen Wolf. I thought it was very funny. Good for you, Tennessee. A good sense of humor. Their marketing department gets kudos from me as well. They got a lot I, of criticism, like though, from Tennessee fans who thought they shouldn't have been making fun of Trump. Everybody's so conservative. Just have a little fun every once in a while. Yeah, everybody does. Don't you think that everyone could just lighten up just a little bit, just in general? I feel like everyone is so tense. Yes. Nobody gets to make any jokes. We can all laugh. Every once we? in a while, not every day. All you got to do is look at the LEX Facebook comment section <laughs> to see what how how much people need to lighten up. Just show it sometime when they put one of our videos up. You'll see what I'm talking about. What's up next? Coach Cal and his staff will be wearing some special edition Nikes tonight to honor UK legend Bill Kitely. Matt and Perrin, true or false? Nike should release these to the public. First of all, the answer should always be true because they will sell any shoe with Kentucky on it. They will sell a million copies. This is odd to me. I think it's very cool that they're doing it for Bill Kitely, but doing it at the road game against Tennessee seems a little strange to me. Why would you do it for that game? I guess it may have something to do with like his birthday, but still, I'd probably do it for a home game. But I do think it's cool. Anything that honors Bill Kitely, I like. You know, you got to give hats off to Nike for doing this and recognizing what he did. And I would like to see them do the Kansas game more than anything. Yeah, I would too. Now, Cal may not have liked that because he wants to look good for the Kansas <laughs> game and not wear the tennis shoes. But shouldn't they sell them? I mean, like, what, I, sell them, like, take the money, donate it to maybe a charity that yes. Bill Kitely was close with. I think that would be, because I know a lot of fans would like to have Do it. a limited edition amount and let everybody See, that's do what they You do. sneaker heads, all that <laughs> limited edition. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Don't want anybody else to have it. I have the same pair of sneakers and I like it every single day. What's next? And last, Dipping Dots. The ice cream company founded right here in Lexington is trying to settle a long-standing beef with Donald Trump's press secretary. Matt and Perrin, true or false? Sean Spicer should make nice with Dippin' Dots. Right, for people who don't know, before Sean Spicer was Trump's press, press secretary, he would tweet all the time crushing Dippin' Dots, saying, I thought you were the ice cream of the future. Well, when's the future getting here? Now, you know, he's in a different role. He probably should make nice. But I like Dippin' Dots, but I've wondered, when does the future get here as well? They've always said it was the ice cream of the future, yet I only see them at games. I agree with that. Is it's ice cream, ice cream of the future, and we'll see it progress. But yeah, well, who, has oh, a, you do, you do? who has a problem with dipping dots, though? <laughs> like that, that's just come on now. Dipping Dots? He apparently tweeted about Dippin' Dots like 10 times. Like, he has serious grudge against Dippin' Dots. Are, do you like Dippin' Dots? I like Dippin' Dots, but who picks on Dippin' Dots, though? Well, <laughs> like, I mean, I was going to pick on Nabisco uh, crackers, but they, I couldn't do it, so Dippin' Dots is the best <laughs> I have. Come on. I like Dippin' Dots, and I didn't know it was a Kentucky company until I saw this story. So, so I got a problem with him. He doesn't go like Go Cats. Them. That's what I like. <laughs> Kristen Brown, thank you very much for pitching in. You did a wonderful job. We'll come back. Today's wrap-up. We're getting you ready for Kentucky and Tennessee when we return.